if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is March the 20th, 2023, and today the topic is trust and God's wisdom. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Mine was just fine. Uh, Saturday was pretty chill. Your girl just pretty much stayed in with my men folk. Kept it low key. Um, from what I'm understanding, it was cold and all that good stuff um, on Saturday around here. And so I was like, mm, I know I got a busy day tomorrow. I'm just going to stay in. So that's pretty much what Saturday was like. And then on Sunday, I was well. I went and worked at the church. Got my word and worship in as well. And, um, yeah, pretty much after that, just came on back home, tried to catch up on rest. And that's pretty much it. That was my weekend in a nutshell. Uh, You know, obviously other things is going on and whatnot. But, um, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, that's my weekend. So, nothing else to say about that. But... Let's get into this conversation, y'all. Trust and God's wisdom. Because, well, one, I woke up this morning, uh, 2.59. And um, I came across a verse, and I just kept coming across that same verse. And I'm like, okay. Um, you know, trying to seek the Lord about what it is, you know. Um, and I started to go deeper and look into the names that were mentioned in this verse and all this type of stuff. And... I believe I was receiving some type of revelation, but at the same time, I was like, I'm not sure what this means, Lord. Is this, are you saying that this is me or like, what, 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 what? I'm not clear, right? I'm not understanding. And, um, you know, just when I was thinking to myself, like, I mean, you know, maybe I missed something or whatever the case is. Um, I noticed that the word trust kept being repeated this morning and, Not only that, some ideas and stuff was being downloaded in my heart and mind. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, I'm trying to write down those as well as look into those names and get a deeper understanding and revelation. And then so a lot was going on in my mind this morning. Um, But, yeah, I did notice that the word trust was reiterated uh, multiple times this morning. Um, The prayer meditation was kind of centered around trust. I feel like someone sent me a message that had the word trust in it. And, yeah, so ultimately, after I realized how much trust had been, (laughs) uh, you know, I guess coming across my heart and mind this morning, um, ultimately, like, at that moment, I had also come across a word that led me to the Hebrew word for wisdom. And I was like, okay. And then when, obviously, when I started looking to that, I mean, it automatically goes right into um, God's wisdom and everything like that. And and I guess because, again, like I said, I, I believe I was receiving a revelation about 259, but I think perhaps it might just be for me and not something that I should share with y'all. But regardless of that, I still really didn't fully understand, like, why I was receiving that, right? And And if it was for me or about me or what, right? And... I guess ultimately when I realized that the word trust and then this whole thing about wisdom, that's what had me look into these verses centered around trust and then God's wisdom. And so at first I was thinking that the topic was going to be trust in God's wisdom, which I'm like, okay, you know, I feel like I've talked about this over and over again. But uh, on the flip side, I'm like, well, you know, I am in a situation where I need to trust God's wisdom over my own. Right. Um, and so, well, we need to do that in all things, right? But still, you know, that's that's 
at least the inspiration for today. Shout out to my cousin tuning in live. Good morning, brother. Um, but yeah, so with all of that on my heart and mind this morning, I started, you know, looking up verses since around trust and God's wisdom. And they were resonating with me this morning. And I'm going to share the ones that were standing out to me uh, to share. All right. So here we go. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. It says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river. And shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. So, um, now the interesting thing is I came across this um, verse in on openbible.info. Um, but something about it made me want to go to the Bible app to confirm. I think it was like... So, something around that word trust or whatnot. And so I went to the um, King James verse, basically. And that's what I just read to you all. But, um, I mean, well, one, it's encouraging to read that word this morning. It was encouraging. Um, I feel like it's confirmation because, um, you know, anybody that knows my testimony about what's been going on since the pandemic and everything like that, I mean, I, you know... I ain't trying to puff myself up in any way, but I feel like the tree <laughs> planted by the river, right? Um, in the midst of all the crazy things going on, um, the Lord has saw fit for me to flourish, right? And to build and to grow and to um, do whatever else he's doing with me, for me, and through me in this season. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I guess I apply this to my situations, right? And on one hand, it seems kind of... I don't know, is the word arrogant? <laughs> it, it seemed kind of arrogant to be like, oh, yes, I am the tree planted by the river and I'm going to flourish no matter what. But, I mean, you know, it does tell us that those that put their faith and trust in the Lord, um, I mean, it won't be in vain, ultimately, is what I receive when I'm studying these things. Um, and not to say that that's the only reason why I'm putting my faith and trust in the Lord, just to get and reap the benefits of that, right? But um, the peace that comes with it for me, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I may not fully understand all things, but just like this morning, I'm sitting here telling y'all like 259 and I'm understanding some things, but I'm not fully understanding all the things that the Lord was downloading in my heart and mind this morning in regards to that, right? But, and, and even with soap, same thing with my life. I may not fully understand like why things go the way they do and why things happen the way they do and things like that. But, um, but what I have seen is the more that I lean in and depend on the Lord, the more that I trust him, the, the more that I allow him to take vengeance and me to not go that route. I mean, the Lord has provided, the Lord has done miraculous things in my life. And so that's all I can really share as my testimony, you know, at the end of the day that, um, that these words ring true, at least in my life, right? And um, so, yeah, yeah. So let me keep going. <laughs> Jeremiah 4 and 22, it says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, this was much more harsh <laughs> um, in the OpalBible.info version where I was like, let me go see what the Bible app has to say because I was like, mm. I mean, because the, the OpenBible.info version has my children is stupid X, Y, and Z. And I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> is that accurate? Um, but Sadish does mean that. So, I mean, you know. But I, I guess it's a little easier on the palate <laughs> than the media. I mean, this might be pulp, though, right? This might be pulp to to see and, and hear that the Lord look at us this way um, and everything. But, I mean, again, if we, we see our actions, right? We see what we do uh, with our free will, 
we see um, all the different things that we're dealing with in life. I mean, again, these words ring true. Uh, you know, uh, we, we might be a little foolish and, and, you know, maybe even stupid or whatever the case is, right? Um, but then also, just to, just to um, I guess, add a little bit more context, when I looked up the definition of the word sottish, um, it talked about, like, being drunk and whatnot as well. So, you know, maybe just not stupid in regards to intelligent, right? But, you know, also, maybe your mind is gone from being drunk or something. Who knows? You know, just saying. Just saying. Adding a little more context so you don't feel completely bad <laughs> to hear that. Because uh, then that was the other thing, too. Um, I, I was looking into it just to make sure, okay, was this a word from the Lord or was this somebody else's? And it was a prophet that was talking at one point. But then when it got to this part, it did seem to be a word from the Lord. So in reference to, yeah, people, I guess, in general. But perhaps maybe the Israelites in particular, but... I mean, we just like them, so we can't sit here and be, you know, judging the fact they took a long time to get to the promised land and all this type of stuff. So, yeah. Let me take a second to see. Uh, let's see. My cousin has some things to say. So he says, I agree with you. I have no problem to do what he says until he says, be still and know that I am God. Be still was hard for me. Just how I relate to this morning message thus far. And Oh, well, to God be the glory. I'm glad that you... Feel me, man. You understand. You understand what I'm talking about here. Like, yeah, that is a little bit difficult to um, to wait, right? And, and to trust the Lord fully and things like that. So I'm not alone, y'all. My my cousin is uh he's he's saying amen. <laughs> he's saying amen this morning. I just messed up my screen, but oh well. Let's keep going, y'all. So here we go. Uh, Jeremiah nine twenty three through twenty four. It says, thus says the Lord, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches, but let him who boasts in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. Uh, now, y'all know we as humans, we boast about everything else. <laughs> now, fellow believers, y'all might be, you know, I uh, guess with me in this whole boast of the Lord situation. But if not, I mean, to be honest, yeah, when we make an observation, we definitely boast in, in all the other things. And I don't know. I mean, this really stood out to me this morning, um, at least to write down and to share. Um but I mean, I guess, hmm, um, when I think about this conversation of trust and then God's wisdom and everything like that, I mean, I guess this has a little bit of, of both, right? Um, you know, because again, if you're going to boast in the Lord, right, because you understand he has all the wisdom, you understand that at the end of the day, the true wise man, and I, I didn't, I was going to look this up, but I didn't, so y'all can confirm whether this is Bible or not, but, um, I've always heard something along the lines of, like, wise men, right, know that they don't know anything. Um, that's the true wise person. Um, the ones that think they're wise, they think they know it all. And then they, I guess, come to find out that they don't. Um, so, something like that. I don't know whether that's Bible or whether that's just human observation and, you know, somebody made a good quote or whatever the case is. However, um, you know, I guess we can use this as a... Uh, example here of trusting the Lord as well as God's wisdom because this is the Lord's wisdom he's saying you know not to boast in our own wisdom but boast in his wisdom you know don't boast in our own might boast in his might don't boast in our own riches but boast in his riches like and this is what pleases him at the end of the day so no there's something to think about something to think about here so um I noticed after I wrote all these down that all of these were from Jeremiah that I ended up sharing. I'm like, that's interesting. Um, so that was one thing I looked up. And then I noticed that majority of the um, the uh, Go Deeper section is from Isaiah. And I looked those two names up as well. And that they were um, a nice little reminder for me as well. So if y'all need to do that or want to do that, by all means, check it out. But anywho, um, let me see. I have one more verse in regards to the juice. And it is Psalm 22, 
4 through 5. It says, In you our fathers trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you're struggling with trusting the Lord, like, understand that, hey, well, plenty of people trusted the Lord before you. None of them were put to shame. And um, even though the things don't, like I say, they uh, things may not always pan out the way we think they should, right? And sometimes it has to do with us and what we do and, and things like that. You know, sometimes it's not even the Lord. Like, at the end of the day, you know, he lets us know, okay, there's things or contingencies and plan for your, you know, shortcomings and things like that. But that doesn't mean that you may not experience some type of uh, consequence to whatever choices and whatnot you make in life and stuff like that, too. And then some things are just because, you know, we're living here on Earth and human nature, X, Y, and Z. I mean, I know that there's sicknesses and pestilences and different things. And sometimes we might not feel like it's fair or whatever to go through things in life but to be clear here and i had i mean i was thinking about this um yesterday when i was in church or whatever um during worship i think that basically jesus himself did not you know uh avoid the hardships of life you know the man fasted you know and had to deal with hunger pains all the way to being beaten by his own creation you know so you know who are we to think that we're above him at the end of the day if he humbled himself to go through the trials and tribulations of life then we should understand that we're going to go through some trials and tribulations too and um we may not like it it might not feel good but the beautiful thing is that we have hope and joy and peace and love and all those things in spite of those things because of him so i mean that that's the juice today <laughs> You know, I guess a reminder for me to go ahead and trust and depend on the Lord and continue to trust and depend on the Lord and his wisdom um, and everything like that. Every day of my life, I was going to say in this season, but yeah, every day of my life I need to do this. And um, and yeah, that, I get, you know, that's the juice. That's the juice. I know my cousin got something else to say, but let me let me go ahead and wrap up with the Bible verse of the day and then we can chit chat. Cause oh, uh, let me see. The Bible verse of today is 3 John 1 and 11. It says, beloved, follow not that which is evil but that which is good he that doeth or doth you know doeth good is of god but he that doeth evil hath not seen god friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice i pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and i look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the lord's will Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options consider supporting us because you know we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show but we have much much more to come thank you so much for the consideration bye-bye